Hi everyone, it's Miss Nancy from Chester Springs Library. I'm the only one at the library today and I thought it would be a great time to do an Easter story time. And I'd like to play a memory game with you and I'd like to take you on a virtual egg hunt in the library. And Miss Ariel is going to try and send me a story that she is reading so we can include it. And Huzza's here. And Huzza hasn't had the bunny hop song in a long time. So Huzza would like to start with that. Ready? Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 stop. Wiggle your ears. Wiggle your nose. Wiggle your paws. Wiggle your cotton tail. Here we go. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 stop. Wiggle your ears. Wiggle your nose. Wiggle your paws. Wiggle your cotton tail. Should we go one more time? Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop, 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 stop. Wiggle your ears. Wiggle your nose. Wiggle your paws. Wiggle your cotton tail. Good job, everybody. Let's read the first book, The Night Before Easter, by Natasha Wing illustrated by Kathy Curry and published by Scholastic Books. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except Easter Bunny. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, and his nose was like a berry. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure, filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs.
When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hopped, hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. The end. Are you ready to play the memory game? I'm going to show you 10 things and you're going to try and remember them. Then I'm going to read the next story. And after the story, I'm going to see how well you can remember those 10 things. Okay, here we go. I see a library card, a nest with two eggs, a china bluebird, a library building, a board book, a bunny, the dash robot, a roll of toilet paper, a pack of pepper seeds, and a yellow egg. Hmm. Try to remember all 10 objects. And after the next story, I'll see if you can tell me what they were. I Need an Easter Egg by Harriet Zeeford and illustrated by Laura Rader and published by Little Simon of Simon & Schuster Children's Books. Hummingbird, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. I need one for my grandma. No, Little Rabbit, I lay white hummingbird eggs. Robin, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. No, Little Rabbit, I lay blue robin eggs. Little Rabbit saw a snake, but he decided not to ask her for an egg for his grandma. Sparrow, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. No, Little Rabbit, I lay spotted sparrow eggs. Then who lays Easter eggs? cried Little Rabbit. Not me, said the duck. Not me, said the goose. And not me, said the frog. Chickens, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. We lay lots and lots of eggs, but we do not think they are Easter eggs. Our eggs are perfectly plain and perfectly white. Please, Mrs. Hen, Little Rabbit begged, I would like the biggest, whitest, and smoothest egg. Here it is, said Mrs. Hen. Little Rabbit had a plan. He knew just what he was going to do. He took out his paints and his paintbrush, and he began to work. I'm done, said Little Rabbit, and this is an Easter egg. Happy Easter, Grandma! The end. So now I'm ready to see if you remember the 10 things that were part of the memory game. Let's see. Do you remember this one? It's a library. That's one. Did you remember this? That's a board book. 
That's two. Did you remember this? It's a packet of pepper seeds from our seed library. That's three. Did you remember this? That's a library card. That's four. Did you remember this? That's the Easter egg. That's five. Did you remember this? This is the little nest with two little white eggs in it. That's six. Did you remember this? The little china bluebird? That's seven. How about this one? Did you remember this bunny? That's eight. How about this one? Did you remember Dash? How do you do? <laughs> what are we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, there's one more thing. Very important these days. Did you remember the roll of toilet paper? <laughs> I hope you remembered them all. Good job. I just heard from Miss Ariel. She's ready to read us a story. So let's listen. And after the story, we'll go on that virtual egg hunt in the library. Hello everyone, it's Miss Ariel. Happy Easter, happy spring, and hopefully we'll all see you guys again. But for now, let me sing you a little song and then I'll uh, read a little story as well. So, peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, Peas porridge in the pot, nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the pot, nine days old. Yay, all right. So let me sing, read you your the little book now. Okay, so this one is called William Wakes Up. The words are by Linda Ashman and the pictures are by Chuck Gronick. And it's published by Disney. On a quiet morning, sleepy and still, William looks out on a moss-covered hill. He hears a faint and distant tune and says my friend will be here soon. It's been an, a long and wintry wait. We need a cake to celebrate. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out and four others snooze. I'm up, I'm out, I'm wide awake. I'll help you bake a welcome cake. Let's see who's up. They stir, they whir, they mix and pour. Then Chipmunk conks out on the floor. There's way too much for us to do. It's better, we'd better wake the others too. Wake up, it's spring. Today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One roll, rolls out, three others snooze. I cannot sleep a minute more. I'll gladly clean the kitchen floor. They bake, they scrub, they wipe and scrape. Says porcupine, I'm out of shape. There's way too much for us to do. We'd better wake the others too.
Wake up, it's spring, today's the day, a special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out, two others snooze. A special guest arriving soon, I'll tidy up the living room. They dust, they shine, they fluff and buff. Till groundhog groans, I've had enough. There's way too much for us to do. We'd better wake the others too. So much housework they have to, to do. Wake up, it's spring. Today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Does one roll out? Oh yes, you bet. And the other? Nope, not yet. Here comes Bear now. Oh dear, says Bear, I, it seems I'm late. May I help you decorate? They frost, they squeeze, they paste and paint. Then Bear sits down, I'm feeling faint. There's way too much for us to do. Perhaps a raccoon can help us too. They gather round the rumply bed, then Pat Raccoon's still dozy head. Hey Raccoon, pitch in, help out. They tug his tail, they nudge his snout. Raccoon just snores and burrows deep. But is he really sound asleep? We see a little eye. Just outside they hear some flapping. Chirping, tweeting, tap, tap, tapping. Then a whistle loud and clear. William says, my friend is here. They throw the front door, front door open wide. Welcome, Bluebird, come inside. We baked a cake, it's just for you. But we might like a sliver, too. Raccoon bolts up. Did I hear cake? Don't start without me, I'm awake. Humph, says Chipmunk, that's not fair. He hasn't helped at all, says Bear. It isn't right, it isn't nice. He shouldn't get a single slice. Raccoon looks sad, he hangs his head. I'm sorry that I stayed in bed. I'd like to help now if I could and have some cake, it looks so good. Says William, there's more work to do. Bluebird needs a building crew. Oh yes, he's right, I do, Raccoon. My friends will be here very soon. We'll need new nests, no time to lose. Then I will help, I will not snooze. But first, says William, grab a plate. Right now, it's time to celebrate. Welcome friends, welcome sun, welcome springtime everyone. And there's Raccoon at the top, helping build the bluebird nests. Yay! Alright, well I help, hope you guys have a lovely weekend, and we're all very eager to see you guys soon. But for now, till next time, bye bye! Thanks for this story, Miss Ariel. I'm so glad you were able to send us a story, and I'm so glad I was able to get it in here. Now for the egg hunt. So we're ready to go on the egg hunt. I hid 15 eggs in the children's area, and then I hid 15 eggs in the new book area, and then I hid 15 eggs in the young adult area. So it's your job to find them. I'm going to show you each area for about a minute and you can see if you can find them all. Here we go. Can you find the eggs in the children's area? Look high. Look low, look close, and look far.
five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're in the new book area and you're looking for 15 eggs. Look high, look low, look side to side. Five, four, three, two, one. Last section. You're in the young adult area. Look all around the edges and all around the top. Five, four, three, two, one. That's our story time today. Thanks for being with us. I hope you have a wonderful Easter this weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Washy wash your hands, wipey wipey the things you touch, and say hello and goodbye from far away. We really hope we see you soon for a nice story time in the library. Bye-bye.